Hi Pisces, this is going to be your weekly love reading. I, earlier, um, I was pre-shuffling and the resistance just came out. It's like somebody's resisting an abundant connection. They're resisting a connection with someone they could have all this abundance with, right? You see this person is like, has this fist balled up and there are trees popping out and birds. That's, that's abundance. That's the land of, um, opportunity. That is like where things grow and blossom, right? And so somebody's resisting this growth and this blossoming of, of their connection. But anywho, and as I say that, I look down, look what I see. The growth card, literally, on the bottom of the deck. The number five, which is change. So they're resisting this change. <clears throat> Excuse me. So somebody's resisting this change. This could be you. Or this could be your soulmate, okay, that you're in separation from. But anyway, I wasn't even planning on doing a reading. It's pretty late. And I was. it's like it's going to be a full moon tomorrow, tomorrow, depending on where you are. And um, I'm on the East Coast and um, of uh, the United States. And anyway, so I'm doing like my full moon rituals, cleansing, and it's like old vibe. And then Spirit said, do a soulmate and separation reading. So, you know, nonetheless here, I did the, uh, I'm here doing the reading. <laughs> As you can see, I'm, you know, not really, my hair is wet, got on my pajamas, so I'm just here vibing with y'all, okay? So, I love you. Let's see. So, we have resistance and change. Oh my goodness, the number 5 and the number 25 could be significant, okay? Oh my goodness. Show me the energy here between the collective and the twin flame. Oh, I want to say twin flame. Maybe you are dealing with the twin. Some of you guys are, but this is for soulmates. The soulmate and separation. Change came out again. Y'all could be seeing 555. Five, five. Change, the number 35 could also be significant for you. Change. This is like shocking and abrupt change. This gives me like, doesn't this card give you like tower energy here? It's totally giving me like tower energy for sure. Let's move on to the Moonology deck and see. So there's some form of resistance here. Somebody is resisting changing. But it's almost like spirit is going to shock somebody or something shocking is going to happen here. Or, yeah. And maybe even, um, maybe go Google Thunder Moon and see what the uh, Thunder Moon is and what significance that is for you. There could be an extra message in that for you too. Show me the kind of energy here between the soulmates. Yeah. It's like this push and pull. It's almost like me giving the energy of um, spirit pushing somebody or nudging somebody. Spirit is like, okay, you don't want to do this. You don't want to be in this abundance and this growth. You want to grow and expand. Um, then we're going to do it for you. Boom. It's shocking. Maybe this, is, this change is somebody finally growing. Communication. Communication, Gemini energy, okay? You could be a Gemini or dealing with one and you are good enough Virgo energy. Looks like this a possibility, you guys, of somebody changing who was resisting something in the past. They didn't feel like they were good enough or there were some other insecurities that didn't have anything to do with you per se, but it was blocking the expansion and growth of the connection. So they may want to talk about this, come towards you and talk about this and this could be a shocking conversation. Someone here is having dreams. They're, yeah, like I just said, somebody literally was allowing their past to hold them back. That was why this, there was this resistance there. South Node is like where you need to do all of your healing. And your healing is in the past. Waxing Crescent Moon is about transformation, growth, and change. It's like this person didn't believe in themselves to even maybe have faith in their own dreams. 
holding back from this abundance where like I said things where things grow and blossom spirit is saying it's time for somebody to have find a confidence to step out of fear to stop allowing the past to hold them back and um, have the confidence it says confidence is your key to success new moon and Leo you could be a Leo or dealing with a Leo let's see here Show me the energy between these two soulmates, please. The star energy. Yeah. And, and oh, a new beginning, too. So a wish fulfillment and healing. You could be an Aries or an Aquarius, okay? Wow. You know, this is like hitting the reset button. Okay, I'm ready to go take, take a risk. Um, be adventurous. I just got this stick in this one bag and I'm ready. In 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 this uh deck here, this person is just stepping out on a limb and this is the energy it's giving me. And usually they have a dog with them. Well this person doesn't have anything with anybody with them. Any dog. So it's almost like, okay, I'll let go of that baggage or whatever that thing was that might have been holding me back or burdening me to go ahead and make this. What is this in his hand? He's got something in his hand here. It kind of looks like a coin or something. Or like a sphere. Can y'all see that? Anyway. But what came out was a star card, which is Aquarius energy. And this is about a wish fulfillment. This is about healing. This is about hope. This is about balance. This is about faith. You know? And then you see, have faith in your dreams and a new beginning, a new, the full energy. Let me see what's under the full, the moon. Yeah, stepping away, somebody stepping out of fear. Somebody stepping out of fear. Somebody's coming out of fear, which is good. Show me the energy here. Mm, yeah somebody stepping out of fear taking better care of themselves here healing yeah they want to have love they were in this they were I feel like they were in, they regret this person sits around and thinks about how they regret how things went down between the two of you love. health, focusing on their health and healing and stepping into their purpose. It's almost like they know that this was meant to be, your love was meant to like, um, was like a catalyst or a cat. It was like, you know, not a catalyst, but I mean, I don't feel like it was like, um, cause I want to give people the credit where it's due when they're healing. Cause nobody can really help you do your healing. You have to do your own healing. But in a, in a sense, it's almost like, you know, like they say the straw that broke the camel's back kind of deal. Like somehow this, this separation or this connection somehow just showed this person some things that they needed to do and they needed to stop resisting. Oh, what was that? Okay. Relationship. In denial. Yeah, this person was in denial. This person was in denial about, like, how this was supposed to go. Or, like, the, the true connection that you guys were really supposed to have. Two of Swords energy. Like, this person chose not to see and they resisted. What's this energy? Okay. Yep, there goes that. Some of y'all are dealing with an Aries or an air sign or an Aquarius. The Leap of Faith card just came, or a Gemini. The Leap of Faith card just came out again in a different day. Somebody's getting ready to listen to their heart and take a leap of faith. In this, you see how I said usually they have a dog with them. This person has their dog, but they also have a guardian angel back here. Now they have a guardian angel. They have all these angels, really. To me, those represent to me like your spirit gods and your ancestors. And not oh, this person is also 
stepping into abundance. In this card, it's like there's that same abundance that they were resisting in this other card. You see what I'm saying? There's that same abundance. Now they're ready to do this. You know, they know exactly what to do. They know exactly what to do. Queen, Queen of Swords. They know exactly what, and, and on the bottom of the deck is the Lover's card. Gemini energy. They know the decision and the choice they have to make now. Six of Cups. That you are their soulmate. Six of Cups. Six of Raphael in this deck is um, Cups, okay, by the way. You know, that nostalgia, the two kids here, the, the in traditional tarot. You know, this person, I'm telling you, is knows that Six of Cups is, by the way, if y'all don't know, is a soulmate card. You feel like home to this person. Something about the connection here was fun. The Empress, yeah, listen. They do see you as a mother figure, too. Divine Feminine, here you are. They know that you are their soulmate. The Empress, they know that you are their divine feminine. They know. There are so many signs here that somebody finally knows this. Oh, what was that? The five. The five of wands wanted to, wanted to flip out, which tells me that this person has some inner conflict or this person might think there's some competition. Um, if it wasn't this person's inner conflict that had them in denial of who and what the connection was and who you were to them, seven again, oh, they feel like you, um, this is seven of a wands energy. It's almost like you decided to walk away and stand up. You put your foot down in a situation for some reason, and you you're you're standing in your power. You you fully know your power. Like this is this this looks like the same person that got on a a, a horse, right? The same woman. This is, looks like the same person in here. So the divine feminine here and the seven of wands is about standing your ground, guarding yourself, protecting yourself, sometimes even blocking people, you know, um, but this is you fully standing in your power, having confidence and standing up for whatever it is that you believed in that you felt like you needed, which may have been one of the reasons why you walked away from this or why the two of you are still in separation. This person feels like you're going to be guarded towards them. But they are trying to find the confidence to come towards you. Because they may, yeah, but they're in this anxiety zone. Nine of, nine of swords, they're worrying. They're worrying. Somebody's trying to release their feelings of regret and guilt and worry. And spirit, and look, look at this, two of cups. This person's up at night. Somebody's up at night thinking about this connection between the two of you. Wow. This is crazy. Too many cards here. Two of Cups. Cancer Pisces. Scorpio energy. Taurus energy here with the Empress. Aries Leo Sag energy here with the Seven of um, Wands. Now we have the King of Wands here. So Leo energy. Okay. So now somebody's seeing the bigger picture. Now they know what they have to do. Now they're ready to make a move and do it. The King of Wands is the person who, yeah, Sagittarius energy, peace. They know this is divine. They're releasing the past. They're letting go and they're letting God. You know what I mean? They know there's something better in the future here. Look at this. The Ace of Ariel. Oh my goodness, the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah. Wow. There's that change, that Ace of Pentacles, that new start. Somebody here is doing well and with their money too. Yeah, manifesting. Man, you, this could be you. Somebody here in the connection is manifesting some money too or a new opportunity. Somebody's money's doing a lot better. 
Uh, they're wearing a crown. Also, they have money all around them. You may have manifested this or this person is trying to manifest this, okay? But it looks like somebody's doing a good job at it because there's healing. Somebody's finally realizing something. The Nine of Cups. Somebody is manifesting this wish fulfillment. Either you are Nine of Cups to the magi magician, Gemini energy. This is going to be a dream come true, this new reality. I mean, this is going to be very shocking for you. Let's see what this person wants to say. I can't believe that reading. I knew I had to do that reading for a reason. This usually happens when I when I do something when spirit tells me to do it. Sometimes I wonder if I'm if saying I'm sorry is enough. Yeah. Can y'all see that? This person definitely wants to apologize and they're realizing something. Okay. I'm really sorry about everything. Another I'm sorry card. Yeah. You may be you make my heart skip a beat. I get butterflies whenever we talk. This is how this person feels about you. Or this is how they feel about you now. I'm not ready to settle down. So this person's still confused, maybe. I don't think they're confused anymore. And if they're in this confusing energy now, they may have been confused about it. They definitely were confused about it in the past which is what caused a separation. Um, ultimately, they're coming out of that. Everybody's going to be on a different timeline. I mean, there are so many signs here that say this person is coming out of that energy and realizing it, okay? They said, are you in love with me or my potential? There were some insecurities, I feel like, in the beginning. You know, parts of me are broken. I'm afraid that I might hurt you if I show you them. So this person's like low-key kind of worried if they were good enough for you or not to say that they, that they weren't because you obviously felt like they were your divine masculine or your divine feminine. You did. You knew. They didn't know. I wish things were different between us. Well, they could have been different. You know, I feel like they could have been different, but this person that was resisting, you know, see? Why do I keep messing things up? This looks like self-sabotage because they weren't ready. I mean, and you know, if somebody's not ready, they're just not ready. That's just all to it. I hope you don't find out I've been watching your social media. So they're keeping tabs on you, you know, paying attention to what you're doing on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, whatever streets that you're in. <laughs> Cyber streets. Whatever cyber streets you're in. That's how they feel about you. Okay. This is a beautiful reading. I love you guys. Hit the like button. Okay. Night night.